Hey everybody, um, I'm using my phone today um, to start this vlog. I'm not having the best day and I feel like stepping out and going to the water for a little bit. Um, I don't feel like talking, but I just wanted to introduce the vlog so that you guys don't get surprised as to where I am, what I'm doing. I just need to get away. And be by the water for a while. I'm not wearing my makeup, as you can see. I'm just wearing a bit of gloss that looks really weird without makeup on. Um, yeah, so I wanted to show you my outfit. <sighs> Keeping it simple. Got a little jacket that I'm gonna carry with me. The whole idea is to just see where I'm going. I'll show you that as soon as I get there. My camera is charged and all of that. I just don't feel like lugging the thing around today. I just want to go somewhere where there's water and read and yeah okay Um, it is a new day um, the last footage that you saw was when I was at Ponteval I recorded all that footage on my phone uh, that day I was having a really 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 bad day uh, it started the night before and uh, yeah I'd only been on one hour sleep I'll talk to you guys about all of that my mental health was shock shot that day shot um it is now officially two days later it is my friends <clears throat> it's very early in the morning it's like half a seven i think so it's very quiet everybody's still asleep my neighbors are still asleep all i can hear are the birds which is nice um so anyway today is my friend's birthday today's prudence's birthday happy birthday if she's watching this happy birthday um, so what's going on is um, Per and Balisa and I are going out to dinner tonight and um, after that we're going to come back here and continue celebrating her birthday, have drinks, cozy up with blankets, that kind of thing. Grown women celebrations, okay? We're not going on the streets, we're not doing blah blah, we, we, nah. we, we just don't do that anyway. Um, so yeah, she's coming. Both of them are coming. They're going to sleep over. We've got a dinner reservation at 7 at a really nice place called uh, Level 7. I've been there before. The two other ladies haven't. So, yeah, I made the booking and all of that. That's going to be exciting. They're going to get here sometime in the afternoon. Uh, and then we're all going to get ready from here. And then we'll all take one car as opposed to all of us arriving there with three cars. And just, no. Nah. So, what I'm going to do now is change my laundry and tidy up my bedroom, which is a tip. Um, I was cleaning up the house downstairs when there's, um, change my linen, not my laundry, change my linen. Um, because one of the girls is going to sleep with me. I mean, I've got three bedrooms. There's three of us. They can sleep in any, like it can be one, one, one. But I know that one of them is going to try and crash with me. They love me, whatever. <laughs> so I need to change my linen for that because people need to sleep on clean linen. And uh, the linen in the other guest bedroom, ooh, 
not straight, sorry. The linen in the other guest bedroom is already clean. It's been changed earlier on this week. So yeah, it's just tidying up my room, which really is a tip. You guys are just not seeing it. It's a tip. Um, tidied up downstairs. Everything's ready. Need to go pop out to the shops and buy cake and just couple of other things um, to make them breakfast tomorrow and possibly even cook lunch because I'm pretty sure they're gonna want to stay the whole day tomorrow and tomorrow is Sunday um, yeah so I've changed my hair we'll talk about all that stuff let me just do this and get it out the way and I'll make a cup of coffee and then yeah I, I'm really craving one of my Nespresso coffees today I haven't had it all week <coughs> I haven't had coffee most of the week because I haven't been sleeping well. So uh, you kind of don't want to aggravate yourself with more coffee. You know what I mean? Anyway, let me get... Oof, I did arms the other day at gym. Oof, my arm is getting tired real quick. Okay. Um, uh, what am I doing? Okay. Let me get this done and then we'll talk a little bit later. Okay. Okay, bye. So this has been sitting in here for about a week and I wanted to show you some of the things that I picked up from Clicks because hair changed my hair so I needed a couple of new products but I'll show you all of that as soon as I'm done tidying up we can sit down we can bond all of that maybe put a bra on <laughs> so for the most part we are done here uh, I can't say the room is really clean but whatever um, my linen, in case you wanted to know, I pick up my linen from Loads of Living. Most of my linen, like 80% of my linen is from uh, Loads of Living because I love it, okay? And then those pillows, I'm pretty sure you've seen. I love these because they pretty much go with all my linen. <laughs> it's been really, really hard to find um, scatter pillows that actually go with all of my linen. That's my Bible there. That pretty much go with all of my linen my laptop it's actually still quite a bit of a mess in here my water bottle you know what it is what it is these are the whites i'm gonna put them in the laundry right now in the in the washing in the washing machine yeah i'm gonna put those in the washing machine right now but pretty much the room proper and recently i picked up my favorite line of sneakers these are the on the cloud sneakers if you have i'll put up a picture where i'm wearing the white ones i've got about three pairs but i recently picked up the black and honey oh they're so dope they're so so cool and the the most comfortable sneaker i would rather buy 10 of these than buy a nike or an adidas or whatever i'm just saying i'm just saying uh but the next best uh brand for me is adidas i really love adidas but those are my babies all right let me go i'll talk to you guys So it is about an hour later and I have now taken a shower. I've doled up my hair a little bit. Uh, I'm wearing the hat that my grandmother made me because I love it. I love my grandmother, so I'm going to wear it. And um, the machine is going in the back. The house is clean. I am ready for my guests to arrive. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty fresh. So um lots has gone down <laughs> um that day when i went to pontoval i 
needed a break. I had a crash. It's what I call a crash. When I speak to my doctor about it, I had a crash. I had a moment where I just didn't want to do any of it. I just was just so freaking done and over it. And I just didn't want to do nothing. And I was upset and I was crashing and I was crying and I was this and I was this. And this was around like one in the morning. So for two straight days, I didn't sleep. I probably got maybe about an hour of sleep in crazy who am i um but for the most part i'm much better today i'm glad that i'm much better today because i am hosting people and i don't like to that's my machine going if you hear noise in the back uh, i don't like to host people if i'm not feeling well or if i'm not feeling up to it but i am <laughs> i've paused my machine because or else it's gonna it gets quite loud when it's spinning so we don't want that um, so as you can see, two new things. I dyed my hair. I dyed it. I, I'm, my friends called me Snowflake. Some call me Stormy. Some call me uh, Snowy, uh, whatever. But I dyed it white. And I'm pretty much still going to go back and... Because um, it's got little bits here and there where it's... I bleached it, actually. I didn't dye it. Um, so it's got little bits here and there where the color is not uniform. Um, but the reason why I did it this time around was because, let me take off my hat so you guys can see. I just oiled it now, so it's looking very patchy, which is fine. Um, I dyed it a week before, my birthday is in a week, basically. So I dyed it a week before my birthday because I wanted to see how it's going to come out. And then I can go back to just titivate it. A little bit um, a day or so before my birthday it's the 29th today of May and my birthday is on the 7th of June so that's what I did the second thing that I did is I finally completed my ear now I've got six piercings on this ear as you can see so these last two these last two here not this one these last two here I did them last week as well pretty much done I'm happy I like my look I mean I'm that girl I mean, I'm that girl, you know, just sitting there, people wondering, oh my God, she's got white hair. Oh my God, she's got multiple earrings and she's got tattoos. What is wrong with that girl? Everything is right about that girl. So, uh, <laughs> I had to pick up new products because of the new hair. And um, I wanted to pick up the Cantu range. I do already have some creams and the jojoba oil as well. I have that. But I wanted to pick up a leave-in conditioner for every time I am in the... I don't wash my hair every day. My hair is like bleached and all of that. But I don't wash it every day. But I do wet it when I'm in the shower just to give it that uh, nourishment. And when I come out, I apply this, which is great because you leave it on and you don't worry about it. Uh, this is the leave-in conditioning repairing cream from Cantu, which provides... Uh, intense moisture leaving hair soft and manageable uh, formulated for damaged dry or coarse hair so it's going to take me a minute to get through this because I've got short hair so I don't have to worry much about product see mm. um, and then they had a special they had a three for two special so another thing that I picked up was the grow strong strengthening treatment uh, strengthens fragile strands and protects from heat damage for me I am not going to be heating my hair in any way shape or form so um, Fragile strands, yes. Hair tends to break when you dye or bleach. So, yeah. If they had a three for two, so I'm not sure what the third one is. Ah, here we go. Here we go. The third one was, I really like this range. I like Cantu. I've got um, a couple of other pro uh, Cantu products in my bathroom upstairs. I really like this range. The stuff smells amazing. You can even smell it. And when you're around people and you're hugging people, and I'm short, so everybody's above me, so they can smell. They're like, oh, you smell good today. I'm like, <laughs> it's the hair. <laughs> anyway, uh, then I got the coconut shine, ho uh, coconut oil shine and hold mist so that's what this one looks like here maybe we can just also smells good so that's really good so i needed to pick up some extra body care stuff and i picked up different things this time because i wanted to try them out so i picked up this dove nourishing care beauty cream 
uh, deep moisturization with no greasy feeling and I, I picked up the pink one I believe there's also a blue one um, so yeah pick that up I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't know the one thing that I do know this is a repurchase of every two three months um, uh, this is the Palmer's cocoa butter formula um, what is this moisturizer um, Oh, the kids are playing outside. So cute. Um, softens, smooths, relieves dry skin. Love the kids. This stuff is born for winter time. Listen, you need to understand something. My skin gets really dry. I've got mild eczema. And now my back gets really, really dry in the winter time. This shit. Oh! Next thing's next. Bargain books. We need to talk about why people didn't put me onto bargain books because, wow, CC. Mm. I normally buy my books at exclusive books until I stepped into bargain books one day. Oh my goodness. Releases from like last year, some of which, I think I got two releases from last year, which at exclusive books, you could get one of those for like 200, 200 bucks, 250 bucks. I bought four books from bargain books for 260 bucks. Two of which are releases from last year. What do you even mean? And yesterday, I got another two books for 160 rand. Both, I think, one, one is a release from last year. Are they releases from last year? I don't know, we'll, 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 we'll get into it. Um, once it's colder, I tend to really like to read thrillers. I'm a big thriller fan. It's, n it's my number one. But when it's cold, when I'm cuddled up on the couch with like a blanket, I tend to really be enjoying a thriller as opposed to a romance or whatever. So I picked up a couple of books. Here we go. So this book is Exciting Times. And this is by Naoise Dolan. I think the synopsis says when you leave Ireland age 22 to spend your parents money it's called a gap year when Ava leaves Ireland at 22 to make her own money she's not sure what to call it but it involves a badly paid job in Hong Kong Julian who likes to spend money on Ava Edith who <laughs> Ava meets while Julian is out of town and money love cynicism unspoken feelings and unlikely connections so seems quite interesting one that i did want to pick up and i'm so glad i got it this is catherine house by elizabeth thomas a black author and this is about a bunch of uh, a school called catherine house where only the elite of the elite students get access to go into the school but once you're in the school you cannot call home you cannot talk to anyone outside of the school this school produces the most elite like business people astronauts fancy people but strange things happen in the school that's what i want to know what that's going on about the school why can't people call their families why can't the kids call their families and talk to their family members? And then this one I found really, really interesting. I did want to pick it up last year, but then I kept on thinking, no. Mm -mm. Earlier this year. This is by Claire Pooley. This is the Authenticity Project. And um, it just basically says six strangers with one universal thing in common. Their lives aren't always what they make them out to be. But what would happen if they told the truth instead? Desperate to confess the deep loneliness he feels, Julian begins the Authenticity Project, a small green notebook containing the truth about his life to pass on and encourage others to share their own. Leaving it on a marble table in Monica's cafe, a warm, friendly place where Julian escapes his most lonely moments, he never expects Monica to find it and track him down or that his small act of honesty will impact those who come into contact with the book and lead to a life-changing world of friendship and forgiveness. What do you mean? How, how amazing does that sound? So he leaves the book that tells the true, true truth about his life. Somebody else sees it and it impacts other people, pay it forward, that kind of vibe. But the, um, the cover, can, could you focus on the book, please? Yeah. Uh, the cover is definitely what sold me. It looks really, really pretty. And then a book that I've been wanting for maybe two years now, and I finally got it. And I got this book for like 
60 bucks at bargain books or something is Karen Slaughter's Pretty Girls. I've spoken about this. Um, I read a little bit of it online, but I really wanted the book and I've heard wonderful things about this book. So I picked it up, but apparently it's a very deep book. Lots of trigger warnings, lots of messed up things happen here. So if you're not somebody who reads dark books, and I'm not talking just about a random thriller, I'm talking about messed up things happen in this book. 17 minutes, okay. So if you are not somebody who can read thrillers, dark stuff, don't, don't do it, don't do it. 20 years ago, Claire Scott's eldest sister, Julia, went missing. It was a mystery that was never solved, and it tore her family apart. Now another girl has disappeared with chilling echoes of the past, and Claire is convinced that Julia's disappearance is linked. But when she begins to learn the truth about her sister, my lady... <laughs> she's confronted with a shocking discovery and nothing will ever be the same so woo! I don't like so lastly I went into typo my friend Prudence has an addiction to coke it's so bad like coca-cola not cocaine <laughs> coca-cola it's actually so bad that I, I've tried to speak to her about it it just doesn't work so I picked up a book for her because uh, she recently started reading as well. So I picked up two books for her for her birthday. I picked up a book for her for her birthday. And then to add to the birthday gift, I picked this up from Typo. I don't know if I'm feeding her addiction by doing this, but I'm hoping that instead of drink Coke out of this, she will actually drink um, water. And maybe just look at him like, mm. I mean, I guess. <laughs> and drink water. I really hope she treats it that way. If not, I don't know. And then again, because it is winter, I picked up for her a pair of socks. And guess what's written on their socks? Can you see that? <laughs> I kind of had to. So yeah, I'm going to wrap all of that up. I'm just going to put it in a paper bag, some tissue paper and all of that. And then, yeah, I'm going to give her that. So what I'm going to do now is um, go to the store, to Woolies, to go pick up some cake. And uh, pick up a couple of things for breakfast tomorrow. Actually, just bacon, because I pretty much have everything else. Um, and I'm also going to pick up some of, like, a, a nice cute paper bag for her present, all of that. So just a couple of things that I need to pick up. And then... I'll be back. Then I'll probably touch base a little bit later. And uh, I'll talk to you guys <laughs> a little bit later, okay? When I come back. I'm gonna, I have to go buy cake. And I don't eat cake, but okay, bye.
Oh, no, 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 no,